you believe that? No metal detectors. So I guess I gotta buy it by the rules, so on to the next one. showed you the sign while ago where the park rule said no metal detectors so I wanted to call the city up and just confirm and what they actually meant was it no metal detecting in the park as far as on the grass around the picnic tables RV spots and stuff like that and I shared with her I wanted to metal detect out in the water not even on the beach but out in the water and the lake is a murky color anyway it was not clear by no means and uh, and she goes, no, sir, uh, there's no metal detecting out in the lake because it stirs up the lake. I'm like, really? It stirs up the lake? I could understand that the lake was uh, a 50 foot by 50 foot body of water and I was out in it. But we're talking a huge lake and she's thinking that metal detecting is going to stir up the lake. I wanted to tell her, but I didn't because I'm a good guy. I wanted to tell her, ma'am, I travel all over Texas, and I hunt city lakes and county lakes and Corps of Engineer lakes and private resort lakes, and I have never heard of that reason why you can't metal detect, is that it stirs up the lake. Anyway, well, we got to abide by the rules, don't we, guys? And uh, that's the rule, so we're going to move on, and um, just a few minutes out to my next location, and we're going to see if the water level's okay to get out in this lake. If not, we're going to move on to my third. Uh, location today and I know there I can detect and I found many rings here and, uh, and I've got one more place maybe later on this evening I'm going to hit on the way home anyway I, if there's uh, anything I find I'll turn the camera on but we all watch it now don't be stirring up no lakes now We have some uh, ringing up like a 77 Air Force 8AV51 Air Force Aviator glasses. They're pretty cool. Have to see if they fit my head. Put them on later on. All right, let's keep going. Out here at another lake. Uh, didn't find too much at that first lake. Just that pair of sunglasses. Now I'm back out here at this lake and I pulled off and went to go see if I could get that ring recovery and found that other ring instead. And I have a lady that called me up yesterday and she had lost her wedding ring and so I came out here today and we we're trying to find it. And it's somewhere between her front door, she believes, somewhere to that light pole over there. So I've been searching all through here. And uh, Marla, this is Marla. Marla, come here. What Marla doesn't know is I think I found the ring. Oh no! And I wanted to catch that uh, that oh, look. I hope I, I just saw a, a, glint, glint, a gleam of it. So let's go look at it together. And uh, I just uncovered it, and I'm not certain. I hope I'm not uh, I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch. Let's go down. Let's see where it was at now. Where was it at? Here it is, right here. Y'all see that right there? Is that it? Let's pop it tell. out and see. Or is that another ring that I found? That's another ring. That's another ring. ring. That's <laughs> I found a, another oh, that's ring. That's a man's ring, but that's super cool. Oh, wow. I found another man's ring. Wow, that's super cool, though. Well, doggone it. I, was, I saw that edge, and I thought well, it might have okay. been yours. That's okay. Look what you did, though. Yeah, at least I found a ring out of the deal, didn't I? You did. Keep looking. Keep uh, looking. Well, that was ringing up just like your ring would ring up. Oh, I hate Marla that I no, put your hopes okay. up. No, it's okay. We're going to make a couple more sweeps here, and we're going to keep looking this ring I saw the edge of that and she had a white gold diamond ring and I thought that was it for sure so let's uh let's keep looking right quick well I just got back to the house gonna change clothes head back to the lake where I pulled off to go try to find this ring recovery uh, I really didn't find her ring I really wanted to find it we're gonna go back out there I got permission and I'm gonna take a uh, army man and uh, digger lady with me and we're gonna go out there and try to keep uh, canvassing that area because I know that there's another gold ring out there and uh, so I know there's two gold rings out there. I know where they're at. Uh, we just got to try to find them. But in the process of trying to find her ring, I did find this ring. And this is a pretty nice ring. 
As you can see, it's a Grand Lodge Masonic ring. It's, it's stainless steel. It's got to be fake diamonds around the edges of it. I thought maybe it was gold at first, but it rings up like a 3940 on the AT Pro. And uh, so, anyway, it's a nice. I really thought it was going to be. I saw it in the ground like that, and I really thought it was her ring. Gave her some false hope, but we're going to keep looking for it, and hopefully we can find it. But this is the first ring that I found with my uh, Equinox 800, and I just never hunt with it out in the, in the lakes with it so i never find rings but i just don't happen to find this one but anyway let's get back to the lakes and see what we can keep finding okay let's go and uh now i'm back at that same lake and uh that i started out before i went over there to that ring recovery and, and so far it's been real quiet and but i've got a 76 here and uh let's uh go down here and let's uh see what we got There we go. We got uh, we got something. We got a. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's got to be a part of a a necklace. I don't know. It's got a ram's head and a, some type of. That's weird. Bringing up a seventy six seventy seven on the AT Pro. All right. Let's stay at it. Still got a little bit more daylight. Back out here, I went across the lake and came back and I'm back real near where I found that uh, other little ram's head looking necklace. And this is, it looks like an ax necklace with some uh, wolf howling on one side and some type of symbol. And another symbol with a eagle flying or something like that. Looks like a an axe. I don't know. Now I'm out here now trying to find the chain to this. That's a big chain and the other one was a big chain. So let's keep looking. See what we can get. Well, it's been about three weeks since the last uh, time I've been out here in the lake. I went before I went off to Latvia, and uh, all the clips that you saw just previous to this clip was about three weeks ago. So I decided to come on out here today. Uh, I figured nobody, well, no one would be at the lake because, as you can see, it's just uh, pouring down rain. And I'm wet anyway. As long as it's not lightning and thundering, I'm okay. But anyway, I'm fixing to go down here. I got a 36 signal. I think it's just going to be a junk earring or something like that, but it's quiet out here. And... Uh, and I'm fixing to go down here and get this, so hang on just a second. Let me see if I can scoop it up and we'll do this live. It was just right on top of the surface. 36 are usually indicative of a, a near ring. Let's see what we got. Yeah, there it is right there. It looks like a ring, but it's not. Yeah. yeah, it's just a piece of junk earring. Oh well, I'll take anything for today. It's just nothing out here. It's quiet, not even pennies. All right, let's keep on going. I hear thunder, so I don't have much time. a lot of weird stuff out here in fact you've seen the previous two digs that Thor's hammers and the mule deer or the storm breaker both of those things and now this that's, that is that's a bracelet it's a stainless steel bracelet with dragon heads on it I've never seen such this has been maybe I should call this the weird video all the weird finds but anyway I'll take it I was hoping for something and uh that's kind of interesting. Make for a great display. All right, let's keep going. I've got a stainless steel toe ring, heart toe ring. I'm out here in about uh, five foot of water. I figure if anybody's out here metal detecting, they're more in the shallows, and I'm pretty tall. So I thought I'd get out here in the deep, and that's where I'm finding everything, out here in the deep. All right, it ain't much. 
uh, but uh, it's something. I tell you what, this year is going to be a tough year on the lakes. We uh, got so much rain. Where are you around here? We got so much rain. The lakes are so full that all the swimming areas and parks are closed down. Just very few lakes we can uh, get on. And so there's, and even with the lakes that are, are swimmable, there's not a lot of people out this year for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, we'll get what we get. So let's keep on going and see what we can find and make a video out of all this. Well, I made it in from the lake uh, just in time. That storm was coming in, and I got out of there just in time before the thunder started going. But I got everything laid out here on the back of my tailgate, uh, what I've done. Like I said, this was two hunts separated by three different weeks. And so uh, just water hunting this year in my area is just pretty slim pickings right now. But uh, let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. I love water hunting with my AT Pro. AT Pro, and there's my camera and all my different gear right there. And uh, so here's my trash. Um, that's a first for me, never dug a ratchet out of the water. But some type of little thing, all your all your typical trash that you dig in the water. Um, but here's my finds. I got uh, one pair of Air Force sunglasses. That's what it says on the side right there, Air Force. And uh, I always gotta get a car. Uh, I hunted a lake where we had planted tokens. My club had planted tokens in the past, and lo and behold, I dug two of those tokens up. Uh, too bad they're not redeemable for a prize anymore. But I got one, two, three, four, five, six dollars and fifty cents in quarters. I got uh, five, ten, fifteen, eighteen pennies, two, four, six, eight dimes, and I got two, four, five nickels. Uh, here's some uh, just no big old earrings and uh, here's that one nice little earring it's nothing good but it's pretty bunch of little pieces I did get a little pin here I really don't know it's a I guess that's an earring uh, I guess it's an earring don't know but I did get this I think it's ironic that preacher digger digs that the thing a uh, focus a phone doesn't focus like it used to but anyway it's a uh, Victoria's Secret something I don't know what it is um, then I got some weird stuff uh, I got this little ring right here it's a little stainless steel toe ring and um, that's a good little find but I got these things have you ever seen such a thing you know and after I got out of the lake and looked these things up uh, it's another little I don't know what that is that's a it's a a bird on this one side and then there's a wolf on this other with these little symbols and uh, then I got this dragon bracelet and all out of the same lake all just in the general same area but after doing some research this is actually Thor's hammer uh, Thor the Mjolnir I think is how you say it uh, it's got the, the symbols right there that's on so whoever be worthy shall possess the power of Thor uh, this looks like maybe Thor Stormbreaker. I don't know. It's just another weird, uh, must be a necklace. I've seen them on chains like this. So another big hatchet necklace and some big old two-headed dragon uh, stainless steel bracelet. I thought it was just going to be, uh, it's ringing up like a real iron grunt. Um, but I dug it up. I'm glad I did. It's interesting though. I'll put this in kind of my uh, unusual finds. Well, there's my trash. And here's all my treasure. Not a whole lot, but hey, it's something. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what can be found here on the back of my tailgate. And the greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until next time, happy hunting, and God bless. <laughs>